guys um, in this video I will try to explain how the the folder structure of uh, pinball versus arcade uh, works uh, I have here the pinball versus arcade versus console version uh, I modeled it myself so let's uh, I, I will try to explain so you can add or or remove anything that that, that you want from here um, for example uh, the main folders are collections emulators launchers and layouts those are the four principal ones so for example here in collections um, let's see the FX3 so in this case uh, the media for the the play the collection playlist or the list inside the, the front end uh, are uh, the media files are in here and it will use these um, files to, to launch every ROM for example this file uh, here is the folder that it will look for the ROMs this is the ROMs extension that it will look for and this is the launcher that it will call for so for example um, yeah, it will call for this that is here in the launcher folder and here's the file so calls for the emulator in the emulator folders uh, every every file in here uh, uses um, the the main uh, folder as as default so here assumes that here are the the main folder subfolder emulator subfolder F pinball fx3 and the exec and here are the the arguments uh, for to for function the the table correctly uh, uh, into the table directly so that's one example Uh, FX3 especially in this build uses um, not uh, the logo for for the images that you see when you scroll uh, down the list it uses the color here the colors. and uh, it uses two folders because if you use the 270 degree uh, version it will use the, Im the images are facing the, the other way okay um, well let's talk about the exclude txt and the sub uh, extension here are the files that has the same extensions as ROMs but I don't want to be on the playlist so here I put those files uh, they are put by default here but let's say that you want to make some uh, extension uh, some file disappear for example let's say uh, I, don't, I don't know some kind of ROM that uses two type of uh, things you can add it here so they they don't show up <coughs> and here is a sub file uh, this is a sub collection inside 
this collection of FF, FX3. Uh, by default, Pinball vs. Side Arcade you should use Pinball. Yeah, it is this collection. And it has um, FX2 uh, ROMs. As you can see, it uses FX2 Emulator, same extension, etc. So, what I did was include this collection inside the FX3. To do that, I just put here a file that is a txt, it has nothing inside, and change the extension to that sub. So, that says that the pinball collection should be inside the FX3 collection. Uh, it still be using this folder and these settings and this exclude and this include. But you will see uh, in the front end all in the same place. <coughs> uh, you don't have uh, and duplicates. I just make uh, include that txt file and it I, I just put the ROMs that I want from FX2 to show up so I put it the ones that they are not included in FX3 so that that's the include the txt file and that's all from here uh, so you need and the important of uh, the rest of the collections is in here in main you will have uh, some files don't pay attention to any of it just here in menu you will have one file for each uh, different collection so I remove the pinball collection that correspond to FX2 and just added the pinball FX3 that is called exactly like my collection here so if I remove any of this it will stop showing up in uh, the retro FE of coin ops front end let's try that let's put this here and let's launch pinball fx3 see if it's here and as you can see it's not here this is pinball arcade yes game boy sega SNES and arcade again. So back up. I put this file again in menu. And now it should show up again. Here you can see. So um, to. Okay, let's. Back up. I will show you now the controls.conf file. Here are the controls for the front end. Uh, someone was asking for um, how to add or remove uh, favorites and how to change between collections, uh, uh, between favorites and all, and this is here. Uh, add to playlist. Add playlist is to add uh, an item, uh, a game to favorites, and this is to remove it. And 
to change between all in and, and favorites is this uh, button pre by default is a uh, Y in the Xbox Xbox controller and this uh, eight and, and nine are uh, eight is L3 and nine is R3 so you can do that from there or uh, with a key um, what else okay uh, <coughs> someone was interested in the main configuration I mostly uh, explained all of that in another video but uh, to make an example uh, here are the the folders that matter to to put a bells a vessel on on each rom here are all, all you need uh, most are included in in my build um, let's mm, So, for example, the launchers. Um, the DS uh, alone that I uploaded uh, yesterday um, uses RetroArch, and here is the config file to to launch the the emulator with the corresponding core. Uh, it will be always like this. Yeah, and it uses this core. If you want to change it, you can from here. And that's all you need to do. Uh, some people were having problems with this core in particular. And if you want to download uh, another, you can change it from here and it will work. What else? Okay, finally, I will talk about layouts very, very, very uh, briefly. It's uh, very complex for for most people. And here we got uh, one folder for each orientation. And for example. Uh, the ones that Pinball versus Arcade uses are 90 and 270 and uh, here we have the main layout and the collection layout here we will have a layout for each of the of, of the collections and they vary uh, depending on the position of the of the vessels the, the background the videos, the the logos, the wheel, everything is in here. Uh, let's see. For example, I use the same Game Boy color layout for DS. I just change the image uh, in the background and uh, the position of the of the video file. So to show for example here <coughs> um, this part is the the background and here's the the video background that is like blue with things moving um, here is the the um, snaps or or video of each of uh, of the games and here are the positions of the of the video and the height and width for for each and uh, the angle because uh, this is a 90 degree uh, collection 
here the skin layer is the the image that you see from for the the DS console uh, which is in PNG and it stays in top of the of the video snap uh, this is uh, this is what is it oh uh, the the letters of the of the collection when you uh, skip a letter A B C uh, it will be scrolling uh, here is the change between all and favorites uh, you can also change that uh, uh, that position of, of each of these things uh, here's the wheel um, it will use the logo type so this wheel will take the images from the medium artwork folder of each collection uh, and under the subfolder logo and uses uh, I mean uh, each ROM must be exactly uh, uh, the same name as the logo and it will show up uh, automatically uh, <coughs> this is basically uh, what is saying here is that uh, the position of the three logos before the one that is selected and these three are the three after the one that is selected uh, I mean the one in the middle uh, it will fade and change position and angle depending on on which one is selected uh, what else and this is the image to uh, shut down the, the, the collection and I think that covers all see briefly this uh, this file the settings.conf is uh, you should touch it um, uh, basically it says if you want to launch it full screen or not if you want to change the resolution of the front end uh, which layout are you using uh, if you want to hide your mouse or not uh, I don't know what this is uh, what uh, every single thing here uh, you can find it in the retro FE uh, manual uh, but you shouldn't change any of this um, what else here if you don't have a, a powerful machine you can change video enable yes to no and it will not show the snaps of the games it's silly uh, but you can if you mod it you can add images instead of videos but well, it's not the same uh, here you can change the uh, track mode time um, this is basically if you want uh, to change automatically between games uh, more or less uh, time and I think that's it uh, well I hope you understand some of this uh, experiment and any questions you know, you can uh, uh, reach me in Discord, and that's all. I hope you enjoyed the video. Bye bye.